In my previous video, I told you about top 10 chemistry companies in India and it was received well by all of you. I'm so happy and thankful for that. But th at the same time, many students started emailing me. Of course, my email ID, you should know, shekhar at rasainika.com. And they started emailing, emailing me asking how to get into these companies as a fresher because these companies may not hire fresher. So that's why I'm making this video best strategy to follow for MSc chemistry freshers to get jobs faster in big biotech and pharma and chemistry companies in the world. To start with, I'm going to break this video into steps, probably three to four steps. The first one is job market analysis. Now you see, if you, uh, you jump into a well without analy analyzing its depth, you're going to drown, right? The same strategy goes here. You have to do your own research and for that, you don't need to go anywhere, just Google online research is more than enough. Find out what kind of jobs are being posted and then find out what they are looking for, what skill set requ is required and do I have that? If I don't have, where can I get that, okay? So that's the first one, online search. The second one is you can always go to some print jobs which are getting printed in newspapers because you know, the traditional chemistry companies still post in newspapers so you can go and go through that and then of course you can look for what kind of research is happening what kind of r&d is happening in the chemical sciences industry and then you can start working on that and upskilling yourself so that's job market analysis for you the second and most important thing is preparing your cv and cover letter according to the job now it sounds like it is tedious but it is not you can use ai for, for that also now you have to highlight your skills and education, the keywords and phrases and the skill set which you have. And of course, mention in the cover letter why you were the right candidate and why you strongly believe that you should get this job because cover letter is nothing but marketing yourself. So these are the pointers which you should know. Prepare your resume according to the job, tailor make it, highlight your skills, highlight your qualification and then prepare the cover letter according to the job. Now coming to the job searching tips. Now, start looking for job openings in Rasainika and LinkedIn and all these places. And then you have to connect with the professors and alumni who, whose students are working there or maybe the students or the uh, people or the professionals who are working there and you, you can network with them on LinkedIn, reach out to them, understand how these companies are hiring, what kind of questions they're asking. Then also keep an eye on all the job fairs which is happening, all the networking events which is happening. And then, you know, you should expand your job search to traditional as well as non-traditional ways and also volunteer wherever required. So this is one uh, opportunity you should know. The next one which I have for you is networking. So, you know, networking is your net worth. So your network is your net worth. We are not Ambani's or Adani's, otherwise we will not be watching these videos. So, yeah, we have to connect with our colleagues, connect with our juniors, seniors and a lot of people who are in the industry. Now, never ever underestimate your colleagues and never ever underestimate your juniors and never ever underestimate your seniors. All the three in the next 10 years are going to be sitting on big positions in the biotech, pharma and chemical science industry. So what do you do? Start networking with them. Okay, attend networking events, use LinkedIn extensively, create your networking, you know, LinkedIn profile in such a way that it looks attractive, highlights your skill set, highlights, highlights your qualification also. Now coming to the next part, which is interview preparation tips. So first you have to research the employer. Suppose you got the interview call, research the employer, look at what kind of questions they're asking online or offline. You can reach out to people and then prepare yourself. Preparation takes less headache than feeling embarrassed in front of the interviewer, right? So practice interviewing in front of a mirror, maybe a friend who can ask you. And of course, dress properly you have to dress professionally don't just go in with a t-shirt and a jeans and uh, uh, you know or you, you have to ask them what kind of dress maybe they are uh, you know preferring because many times the employer take it negatively also so that's one thing now coming to salary expectations and negotiation you should you have to know the market value what exactly is the salary which the market is giving now if you start opening your big mouth they are not going to give you because they all come with a budget and they are always trying to give lesser than the budget so understand the benefits package understand that you are a fresher they may not be able to give you the right package at this juncture but negotiate still with the confidence and always ask for something which you believe is genuinely uh, needed to survive in that particular city so these are the points you should know when you are negotiating your salary. Now coming to the career growth opportunities in pharmaceuticals, you have big companies like Pfizer, Novartis, Merck, um, uh, Sun Pharma where you can apply. 
chemical manufacturing you have reliance industries tata bsf bhel dow chemicals all this i have already told you in the previous uh, video and then you have in agriculture you have monsanto uh, syngenta and various other uh, chemicals pesticide screening companies in agriculture coming to government and non profits you have barc that is bhaba atomic research center council for scientific and industrial research with csir national institute of oceanography all of this uh, you know center of chemical sciences in um, uh, india so all of these are there which will give you government jobs as well now one last thing before i uh, embark from this video is it is not that difficult to get a job you have to persist you have to insist you have to keep trying you have to keep innovating you have to keep keep executing and you have to do it every day that's the, the mantra and if you need any help or guidance or anything you uh, want to know about the chemical sciences industry all you have to do is write to me at shekhar@rasayanika.com and i'll be right there to guide you mentor you help you thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye